This is going to be the first of five lessons where we produce a notepad program. This first lesson we're going to introduce the text, text edit widget. In our next lesson we're going to look at how we can save files. The lesson after that we're going to look at the file dialog which brings up the sort of dialog you would get when you save from an ordinary program. We're then going to introduce the menu bar and then finally in our fifth lesson we're going to put that all together to make our notepad program. So here I've got the bare bones of what we're going to need. So we've imported systems so that um, we can exit our program. And then from Qt widgets, we've got Q applications so we can look at an event loop. We've got the Q text um, edit because obviously that's what we're looking at. Q widget because that's going to be our main window. Q push button so that we um, just thought adding some functionality where we can clear what we write. And then a layout for putting our work. Here we're going to set up our event loop. Here we're going to um, create an instance of our widget and here we're going to see what happens if we um, try to close the program. In fact, we're going to close the program. So the first thing I want to do is initialize the class. So um, that's in itself. I want to call um, the super class for this one. So we're going to take an instance I've called, called it Notepad. Obviously, we can call it what we like, and that's going to be an init as well. Um, I'm going to um, create um, the parts I'm going to need. So I want my Q text edit, and um, give that. Self there we've got a whoops a clear button so whoops get that wrong equals a Q push button and we might as well call that clear to clear the box and then I want to call another function where I'm going to be doing the initialization of the widgets so um, in its UI okay so let's define that function so that's going to be in its UI and I want a layout this should all be familiar to you we've done uh, quite a bit of this already so that's a QV box layout and to that layout I want to add a widget which is going to be the text box first which is text or the edit box text edit and then I also want to add my whoops clear button and um, I'm going to come back to there later but I'll have self dot um, set layout to be layout and then self dot set window title and pi qt um, 5 text edit and then um, self dot show now that's not going to do everything we want but we should be able to run that now and we've got our little text editor here um, you know once um, upon a time there was a big fat cat and we've got some wrapping going on there and as we go down we can obviously get this longer as well we could have it so we have more on the line um, but um, yeah, so it basically works, but clear doesn't do anything. So that's the only thing we've got to add to this now. So um, we've got the button, we add it here. So I'm going to say, and we should be used to this, self.clearbutton.clit, we don't want that, dot .connect. And I want to just call a class called, oops, clear um, text 
And now what we've got to do, not a class, a function. And now what I've got to do is just create that function. So I'm going to call that clear text self. And we can now reference text, which is up here. And that does have um, a method for clearing. So now when we run this, we can write all our garbage and we can clear it. Um, in our next lesson, we're going to look at how we can write something in a box and we can save the work that we've done. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, think about subscribing. I've included a link to the code that I've used in the video below in the description. Stay in infield with Winfield.